Max number 2015, it's time to begin round seven where we see who is going to the top eight for day number three and ultimately get into that money. The winner of each match here, therefore, will also get $2,000 just for qualifying for top eight and double their money with each best of five win. Joining with me on the desk, I have Nyria from Team Liquid who was just casting that show match. He's decided to stay on graciously. And I'm joined by Chalky's teammate who will be coming up here up against Profix. It's Green Sheep, also known as uh, James Lou. <laughs> I love your accent, man. That's it's amazing. Nice yeah, what's up, dude? How, how you doing? Are you, are you 18 yet? Not yet. Not I'm yet. 17. All right. Still feeling awful about uh, That is the same age as Blackout, by the way. Putting that out there. Oh, you're, you're as old as your captain. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and Chalky's like 19. You guys are just like really young team yeah. in general, right? Kranich is the oldest. And Kranich is like 25. Yeah, it's, like, <laughs> it's like our like mentor. Gotcha. Gotcha. So uh, he's, he's teaching you the ropes of you know adulthood and manliness. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, how is the dynamic with Team Dignitas in general? Because you guys are scattered all over the world, all over Asia, America, and uh, Europe. Yeah, like uh, we practice a lot, uh, but not just with the people we have in our team. We also practice with a lot of other people. Like mm -hmm. we uh, practice a lot with some, a lot of Americans, a lot of Europeans, and also uh, Frozen Ice from Taiwan. Like yeah. we've got people scattered around like every continent. Like That's it's just cool. like a giant practice group to get like the feel of the matters in each region and like. Try to like build our decks around every meta. Wow. Well, it seems like you guys are really well prepared. How did how did you do in the event yourself? I unfortunately went zero two. Ugh, rough but stuff. Zero two boys. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Nairia yeah, well, zero Nairia two. got some pretty tough bracket luck. I mean, he faced off against Dog in uh, the second match, and Dog's still in the tournament. He'll be playing also uh, in the the round here as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at who's still surviving uh, while we have a moment before the match begins. Just taking a, a look at what happens this round. Tiddler and Hawkeye are guaranteed top eight. The winner of this ends up going to be undefeated, but if you go six and one, you also get top eight as well. So those two players, we've seen them on stream before. We might let them pass. But in the meantime, there's a lot of drama for the people who are five and one. Those who lose from this point on barely uh, do not make it. And that's Caldi, Purple from Archon, you need from uh, the friends. Uh, we have Nico the Great, who you saw was able to play really well up against Stan Sivka. Profix, who we're about to see on stream. Uh, then we have Chalky from Dignitas, who's his opponent. AK Wonder from Spain. Amaz from Archon. Oskaka, who did drop his match, uh, even though we did see him win against Gara. And then Dog, uh, Let Me Farm, and Retord, who we also saw the, the Norwegian face off against his teammates. So a big mix, a bag of players, some who are really well known, some who are up and coming. And some players, like you've heard their name before, you're not sure where to recall. Like, for example, some people may have seen You Need, but they're like, well, where did I hear that name? He's it's pretty popular a French uh, yeah. player. He's uh, mm -hmm. streaming on the French uh, yeah, channel. Yeah, Daily Emotion. Or you mean, no, oh, uh, Twitch. Twitch channel. Twitch. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So he's pretty popular. And among the players, uh, he's pretty big as well. Yeah, I, I mean, the French community loves their players. They're like always behind yeah. Maverick, you need the Yeah, Loello. I mean, they also did pretty reasonably well at this tournament, too, like 4 2, 5 2 ish. Mm. Uh, that's where they're kind of aiming in. And, I mean, he's one of the scariest players. But we'll, we'll talk about that when that series comes. In the meantime, it's about Profix versus Jockey. And, of course, you know a lot about your teammate. Uh, is he considered the, the ace of the team? Uh. Well, I mean, of course, whenever Green Sheep can't make it to the match, Chalky Chalky has to fill in. If I can't the big be there, Chalk. then Chalky is definitely my second. <laughs> <laughs> All right. After you? Yeah, I, I am the best aggro player. Uh huh. All right. Chalky is like my underling. But Ch but Chalky can also play control. Yeah, definitely. Like Chalky stemmed away from the aggro a bit. Like he likes more control decks, and he thinks like control is probably better in this meta. Like he doesn't like aggro in this meta. He likes to play a really controlled game where he can wow, make a lot of choices and actually like he can he feels like he can beat opponents better if he plays control rather than aggro. Hmm. But he doesn't play mid range decks. Yeah, he's <laughs> either like full control or aggro, like nowhere in the middle. Yeah, or combo. <laughs> and here we go. We're going go to game number one. Already off to a weird start. I was going to point this out. Profix feels like the only player to bring Shaman, and it's a, it's a mid-range Shaman, I want to clarify. With Violet, Violet teachers, teachers <laughs> in a meta with Grim Patrons. <laughs> what? Whoa. Bloodlust? That is crazy. Maybe. I mean, that, that does sound like a possibility. Bloodlust with the full board is death. We've seen this pilot teacher way long. Yeah, like back. in EU qualifiers, like BlizzCon qualifiers. I think the Fishu had like a double bloodlust shaman deck. No. 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 Before. I that? remember it was even before. Before. Before next Ramas. 
So yeah, you would have a bunch of cheap spells so that you can benefit off of it. Everyone was still playing Lightning Bolt back in the day. Yeah. And then, um, what did you use with Violet Teacher Synergy? Bloodlust. It was, yeah, oh blood yeah, it was it's like, like a bunch of tokens, tokens and yeah. try to OTK them. Was that it? <laughs> was it just Bloodlust? I don't know. It's kind of weird, but why? Why now? I'm not sure. All right, you I guys look know. really confused. <laughs> they're, they're, <laughs> the, look, they're the pros, and I'm the commentator, <laughs> so they're supposed to be the ones explaining it, but they're in the same boat as me. Well, this is like an aggro hunter, but it's also got high mains, so I guess it's kind of like hybrid. But hunter in general is a really good matchup against Shaman because of the totems and Unleash the Hounds. Well, I mean, is Chalky playing more than one Unleash the Hounds, though? Because the thing is, Unleash the Hounds has been less of a focus yeah. about Hunter's deck. Before in the past, it was all about it, considering that you had the, the cheap buzzard, which yeah. we had a throwback. <laughs> um, but now that we don't see it as often, people even cut one of them from their decks. It's actually a pretty awful hand from uh, Profix. Like, Double Lightning Storm is great against Hunter, but not when it's in starting hand. Mm. Like, too many yeah. Overlord cards. And he decided to play uh, Hunter Creeper just because uh, he needs to play ev a card every turn. Right. If you coin and you play Feral Spirits, you have one mana next turn. Yeah, you need yeah. Uh, something to follow up what are you every do with time. That? Chucky choosing to like clear the board. He is like really scared of stuff that can probably buff the Haunted Creeper, like the Flame Tom Totem that was drawn. I guess Chucky doesn't really know what's in this deck. Like he hasn't seen much Shaman in this tournament lately. Or even oh, in the meta. Who expects Shaman? It's yeah. very unusual. Yeah, the only Shaman you really expect are probably the Mech Shaman. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Mm. That's the only variation that's pretty Ooh. much viable. Yeah. Well, you know, what's so interesting, too, is that this is Conquest. So in Conquest, you have to win with each deck in order to advance. So this, this deck at least won five times. Yeah, maybe even six. He, met, he might have yeah. like, <laughs> won a, <laughs> That's won crazy to me. <laughs> If you think about it, though, if, if people are bringing Druid, mid-range Shaman still can capitalize on Druid, uh, and it still can also beat Handlocks. Actually, you know why sh the mid-range Shaman is not, is not that great? Uh, because there were a lot of face hunters back in the days, like even a month ago. Right now, it's only like mid-range or hybrid hunters, which yeah, are pretty, that's a good point too. pretty good matchups for Shaman. Oh, he's rolled yeah, yeah. a Huffer. A little I wonder why he'd even play Shredder. Maybe because he doesn't run yeah. Freezing I, I guess he, he probably wanted the Leoc, then he could trade both the minions in really well. Like, they're both oh, yeah, a free, free right. attack, and they can trade in efficiently. But what if he would get uh, Misha? Mm, that would be pretty awkward, yeah. He could only, like, play one minion. I suppose at this point, too, I guess he doesn't really mind losing the Animal Companion because Feral Spirits cost additional mana, so he's ahead on board. And he's ahead in tempo, mana. And then the Pirate Shredder can come down much easier, less contested. Pretty awkward turn for Profix here. Like, he can either choose to Totem Orc, or he can, like, Coin Lightning Storm. But Coin Lightning Storm is really awful, since you, you overload yourself next turn as well. You don't see an option to play Flame Tom Totem to, to suck this four damage. <laughs> I don't think that's <laughs> an option here. <laughs> Why not? Oh, boy. You really think so? <laughs> uh, well, I guess if you think it's an aggro deck, then... Maybe it could like be. Like, Flame will be dead till like, turn 8, 9. Yeah, until he's got a board. Yeah. Which he might not get against a Hunter. Yeah, well, I mean, now he's got enough mana for Hex on... But he doesn't develop shredder. anything from his yeah. side. And he has no, like, amazing minions, I That's guess. That's true. Next turn, he can probably, like, a Totem up and Defender of Argus, but that doesn't get the maximum value from the Argus. Uh, yeah, you're right. And plus... If, if he does drop the high main, that Hex is going to be really yeah. useful against it. And he's coming up to turn 6 as well. Yeah. Pretty lightly for a high main. And oh. He's, he's well, seeing the really power bad. to Shredder as well. Yeah. Chucky's hand isn't great here. There's only one totem, so you get one dog. <laughs> Maybe he actually will consider playing double unleash. <laughs> just to know. clear the totem. Because he already saw like Lightning Storm. Oh, he actually does it. Yeah. No, he does only one. Oh, he only does one? I guess so. That is really interesting. I guess the one dog in case his opponent's playing something and then he can use it with Hunter's Mark to, to gain tempo again. Fire Elemental, turn six. Right, that's true. It can crash into the Fire Elemental. And that way he's just more mana efficient. Like, you can also argue, like, oh, well, shouldn't he hold it until the, the Fire Elemental comes out? But you I get the damage in. Profix really wants to play the Drake here, but it's such a, a, a really good trade for Chucky because the Party Shredder just trades 
evenly with it. Yeah, I wonder why di why didn't he hack Shredder? It's like one of the best value against Hunter. Oh, I, I mean, Hyman is the best one, but you can't just wait for Hyman. Mm. Hex is it now, though. Wow, another Taunt Totem, too. So, so he basically just uh, waited one turn with this Shredder? Yeah, he just took four more damage. Yeah. But if he wouldn't get a Taunt Totem, he would take like four additional damage. Mm. Well, it's, it's working out okay, because Hunter's yeah. not curving out very well and can't really utilize all of its mana in a very effective way. The way you use it is to play your cards, but I think it's just really pass. Yeah. Probably yeah. Shoot Wait. and pass. Oh. Yeah, Do we see nine. what secret this is, by the way? Uh, I don't think we've seen what secret is. He can check it right now with Flame yeah. Totem and uh, Lightning Storm after. If he wants to. Oh, that's oh. a really good draw. A valid, valid teacher. teacher and Lightning Storm. Clears the whole board and spawns a 1-1 token. That's so perfect. Yeah. And actually, if it's Freezing Trap, we're talking about we'll, uh, just... Yeah. Look yeah. It. No, it's it's amazing. This is highly unusual. But there is another Unleash the Hounds, and now that he knows the Vile Teacher can be building up some one ones, that that Unleash the Hounds again becomes pretty live. But Maybe. Shaman has twenty three HP. It's like uh, f way far away from Lethal. Yeah, I mean that's like I know Hunter can burst, but not that. Not that at much. this position. Yeah, it's not Druid. Let's 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 be clear. Maybe Chaka would just play his whole hand there, like unleash the hounds, play the power to shredder, Hunter's mark, the Violet Teacher. I think it's the best chance to win. But it really depends on what the trap is. I think yeah. it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, it, it does in the sense that if his opponent, if he can make this pilot shredder do a lot of damage over the next couple of turns. It will, because he didn't see a file mental before. Right. And uh, he saw already one hex. It's like two only ways to deal with it efficiently. Oh, Rock Bite is not an option. Oh, well, chair, of course, if he plays it. Well, yeah, but Fell Spears does stall for time, and he can also totem, so that way he gets. Uh, yeah, Flame oh, okay. between. Yeah. To have good trade with Shredder. Mm -hmm. It's looking pretty bad for Chucky. He has no cards in hand. Although he's only done seven damage, so he's not even near lethal. But that's a really good draw there. Yeah, second best. What, what would is be the, the best? best? I expected you to ask this question. Uh, <laughs> quick shot into high main. A quick shot into <laughs> high main. Yeah. Wow, I got baited. Nice play. Quick shot into high main. Yeah, you're right. That would have yeah, been pretty good. Yeah, you could shoot off the flame tongue, trade evenly, and even play the high main. He got uh, torn off well. the power to shredder, though. It's, it's good. Since <laughs> now his high main can't get killed off by the extra flame tongue totem. And the Feral. He's checking for Freezing first. Yeah. Yeah, now he uh, still has room to play something else this turn, but... I mean, he still doesn't have an answer to that high main directly. And, and it will get contested by the dog. But you can keep making taunts and just hope to stall. He doesn't want to take this 6 damage from the high main face. Man, he is really protective of himself. Ooh, oh, there's a quick shot. Sick. Is it going to be quick shot into high main? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Dude. Oh my gosh. Actually, that's exactly what's about to happen, Green Chief. You're about to tap into the caster's potential. Oh, oh. This is exactly what happens. You quick shot and you draw high man. I'll just do it already. And you seem like an om omniscient god. Oh. oh. It's a ho if it's a Huffer, it's really good here. Oh, it's not a Huffer. I mean, it's still problematic because Shaman yeah. can't deal with the Huffer or he uh, the Misha though. easily. But if it was a Huffer, you could trade the Huffer into the Taunt and jam six to face. That's true. I mean, the fact is they're still mounting pressure, so as much as you can Flame Tongue trade, this needs to pick up something really good. Another no. Argus. That's awkward. He needs to play Flame Tongue here. Yeah. Can he not... Um, he could yeah, Argus right. and Rock Biter, but I think that's kind of a waste. Because the, yeah, the well, only one minion anything. gets taunted. Since he has to trade the other one. Yeah, in. and next turn uh, Argus would be so much better. He oh. decided to just rock okay. bite, I guess. Mm. He yeah. got another taunt totem. Is that the third one we've seen this game? It feels like there's just too many taunt totems. In fact, yeah. it's so problematic because of the fact that Hyman can't attack the face anymore. And if he draws kill command, like then he's missing a lot of damage. Oh, he can. Oh, oh there it is. There it is. The Glee Zuka to push past this taunt totem. And I mean you just hit high main to the face, right? There's well, just no way yeah, you, you want to trade. <laughs> he yeah. did use both lightning storms, but at the same time, it's like you can't miss that damage. 
Yeah, he's already used one hex oh. as well, and you've seen he hasn't got a good way to deal with the high main. So his only answer is to probably top deck away. So he's got to get the hex. Now, one thing that is important is that Shaman can stabilize the board, but... Oh! Well, hold on. Has he taken too much damage, though? Like He needs, like, four turns to kill him. Oh, three. At least three. Yeah, and, and Hunter needs four, at least. So, at yeah. yeah. If he uh, gets any spell that uh, the damages... Like, just a wins. kill command. Oh, just quick shot. It's enough. Just quick shot. Just In quick shot into kill command. <laughs> enough next <laughs> turn. But that, that is the only damage, though, outside of weapons. But that was actually a huge draw, since, like, Hex was the only way to deal with it. The other way would be, like... Earthshock. Earthshock, I mean, but then he would have to trade the minions he's, in, too. He's got some ways taunted to stall. Taunted Creeper, he would have 5-5 five, five Taunt and 2-1-1s, uh, one mm. which is not bad, because he doesn't have Unleash anymore. Right now, he's thinking how he can deal the most damage yeah. per turn. Like he only he he knows he only has four turns left because the hero power is coming out every turn, so he has to figure a way that he can kill Chucky within four turns. Yeah, he should go face for sure. Yeah. Well, let's see what Chucky draws. A low fab. That's mm. not not good. great because there's no spells in Profix's hand. I would say it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Even R would be better. Yeah, Owl would be pretty good since he could kill off both taunts. Well, you silence one taunt, kill the other taunt, hopefully draw into like a charge minion or something for the next turn. Yeah, well. but but right now he can just ignore this loaded. Oh, oh my, gosh. my gosh! That's crazy. That definitely puts him on for a next turn win, right? I think Flame Taunt was more damage. Oh no, no. But no, I mean, no, it's another taunt. And now uh, even Kill Command, he survives. It has to be quick shot into something else. And the Shaman deck is about to win unless oh a miracle God. comes out from the Hunter it's player. It's just been too many Kill Command is not enough. With. Only quick shot in the Kill Command. Oh! <laughs> he is one damage off lethal. Is that a way for Chucky to survive? I don't think so, right? Yeah, the Alakir itself, Alakir itself, a lot itself of with the Flame Tongue does 10 damage. And then he has a lot of other minions that the yeah. Flame Tongue If the Flame Tongue just yeah. slides into one minion, it, it ends up killing him. Yeah, technically he's not dead if he trades into Azure. No, no, he knows his opponent has Flame Tongue though. Yeah. yeah. Because it, it does oh, yeah. 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 <coughs> so he But he can't prevent. It. No, that's it. Yeah. Chucky's just again like a, a bunch of a, a several important draws happening here for Profix in order for the Shaman to win, but yeah. it got the job done again. All them Torn Totems as well, like that's six damage absorbed within Torn Totems at least. That's how you win with Shaman. Roll Taunt Totems. Yeah, I swear. Taunt yeah, totems actually, is you're so right. Tonight. The Taunt Totems every time. That was crazy. Roll. You, this is what you gotta do as Shaman. You have to roll three or four Taunt Totems to stop the high main damage. You have to get the hexes at the right moments, and you have to have both lightning storms to clear the board twice. And your opponent has to draw really badly to get two unleashed hounds. All that happened in this game. All that happened <laughs> in one game. And he was one off lethal. And he was one off lethal. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite reminiscent of. Uh, I think the NA regionals where Chucky played against D2 and D2 rolled seven Tortosums in a row against his uh, seven? his double Doomhammer. Oh yeah, Shaman it happened. Yeah, I think it was seven if I remember correctly. Tortosums. You, how can you even Chucky's be mad at that point? It's like it's seven like, Taunt Totems. It's like you know it's gonna happen. Shaman's it's like finally been viable. <laughs> Just roll Taunt Totem. Two every mana, time. roll a Taunt Totem. Yeah, in a game, five uh, K price game. Yeah, <laughs> seven that's brutal. Totems. Yeah. All right, well, Profix feeling pretty good. You know, nodding. Chalky. Fuming. Oh, man. Yeah, he is definitely not happy about that. Yeah. All right, well, now we go to Warrior Mirrors, or is mm. it? I, I think Chalky is the Ooh, control wow. warrior. Double BG. Ah, we saw it right. yesterday. Yeah, see, up against the patron warrior from Profix. And the Control Warrior has definitely gained a lot of stride against uh, Patron, especially since they've pretty much learned how to hold their removal and play optimally against it. Um, what, what, what are the percentages in your book? You've played so much Warrior yeah. in general. I know, pa I know Nairia's played a lot. So Patron. Patron Warrior, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, against Control Warrior, a standard Patron can win only if uh, Control Warrior doesn't have Brawl. That's the only way. Oh, they pressure a lot, so Control Warrior does have removal for small stuff like 
uh, three three. I don't know. Uh, I, I know the strategy for Control War is to beat Patron, even if it's combo oriented. You just don't play any minions. Like, Shield Maiden is, is like the only minion. And yeah, just, just wait. Keep holding, yeah. And keep armoring up. Yeah, like, the threshold to deal uh, from the hand is like 40 damage, I think. From With the that, without minions on board? Yeah, without minions on board. So it's like if you go uh, 50, uh, 20 armor. Just unkillable. But can they pressure though? Even without filling the board, like they still have cards like the page. But you, could you just play weapon, shield, blo uh, shield slams, uh, executes, and stuff like just that. Chill. Yeah, just chill. <laughs> 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 just chill. There is Harrison as well in Chucky's hand. Oh, that's out, that's excellent too. But it's, really it's only design. the way when you have uh, a lot of card draw in this early game. Right, right. Not, not to, yeah, that's also true. The combo deck might be too slow sometimes. I've, I've actually seen Chalky play exactly this matchup, and I was very impressed because what he did was um, he had Ragnaros against Patron Warrior, and like his opponent was at like 19 health, and it's clear that his opponent was just passing every turn and armoring up. It was like, well, shouldn't he drag, drop Ragnaros? But he just kept armoring up passing, like you said. Yeah. And he ended up surviving by like 3 HP, but his opponent ran out of damage, like straight up had nothing to do. So instead of going for like the 95% the win, he went for the 100% win. So it's a scenario w which I was talking about. I if Warrior will play, uh, Pattern Warrior will, yeah. will play aggressively, uh, Control Warrior might run out of uh, removals. Yeah. I feel like just by losing a Frothing Berserker, your chance to win this game drops significantly. Because you need both Frothings to push him out of the game sometimes. Uh, you can win with uh, Frosting and uh, Patrons in the same turn. If right. you get with Zamper. But double frothing is also a way that you commonly could Actually, win. with patterns it's more damage. You think so? Yeah, if you have like uh, inner rage and double wheel in fact, it's more. Okay. Yeah, because you can fill up the whole board. Exactly. Yeah, I was talking to the rat who played a lot of uh, Patron Warrior 2 over on NA, and he was saying that the, the double frothings is like the key to win against Control Warrior. So he was always telling of me course. like, like don't, don't play your frothings unless you know you can like do big damage to Warrior. Like, you at just least play a TK plus. Warrior. Yeah, but he, he played on turn three against. Con oh, actually, does he know it's Control Warrior? Maybe, Maybe his not. deck is not decked uh, like 40k things. Maybe he plays like. Uh, like Gromash. Yeah. Yeah, Gromash. Well, he saw a Shield Slam, so I guess you can assume it's uh, Control Warrior. But I mean, I know Nayria does run a Shield Block. Yeah, some pe some Grim Patrons this tournament are running Shield Blocks and Shield Slams. I got uh, top 10 and A. With Shield Slam version, mm -hmm. I was like uh, uh, number two till the last day, but last day is super crazy. So, do you think it is better than the normal like hard draw version? Uh, it just depends on matchups. In some matchups, it's just better, like against handlock. But huh? Actually, one thing I realize is that Profix, if he doesn't know Chucky's playing Control Warrior, still doesn't have indication that it is. Because uh, his opponent just played weapons, cruel task, and um, and the emperor. But he made uh, he can make an assumption assumption uh, when warrior plays very passively. Right. It, it's not a pattern. Well, I mean, it's it's the fact that um, he played the frothing so aggressively, right, onto the board, and he lost that burst. But now it's like he sees a lot of defensive cards. Iron Beak Owls almost certainly control. So if he didn't know before, he certainly does now. I saw a lot of players play aggressively against uh, Control Warrior with the Frosting. It for, uh, like, uh, the most Control pl uh, Warrior players uh, have only one Brawl. So if they waste the removal for like Frosting and other stuff, they have Brawl only for one Patron yeah. wave. So second wave will be unremovable. Well, so this is problematic for Chucky. Yeah, he have has you no way to deal with it. You just attack and pass. Oh, he doesn't want to. B Simply because Owl and uh, Slime will trade into small minions, maybe. Oh, that's awful. Yeah. Uh-oh. Chalky can't do a Thorson. That's, that is two weaves of Thorson. And next turn, we'll win the double battle rage. Oh, my God. <laughs> D2! <laughs> I think Green Sheep may be exaggerating the amount of taunt totems I rolled versus Chalky in last year's qualifiers. It was a lot. I thought it was seven. I mean, I seven in a row them. is a statistical anomaly. It was anomaly. a large amount. Like, we did, we did put that in the historical Hearthstone Museum, if that's the case, because <laughs> that is a lot. Seven in a row? Well, we'll have to rewatch it. If it's, like, twice in a row, you're going to look so stupid, It is stupid, not going to be twice in a row. 
taunts. <laughs> Like he didn't even roll a taunt on the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> he just kept rolling searing totems. Like what? Yeah, this this is unfortunate. Yeah. I wonder why he trade all into that. In case he draws a weapon. Uh, Maybe in case of execute. Or? No, the grim patient combo, I guess. Uh, he could have traded in, uh, into the. Oh yeah, uh, the, uh, the one free. Yeah. I think yeah. he's right. The grim patient combo is the biggest thing on his mind. But does it matter? It's a one three one pattern. It might indicate that you don't have Brawl. Hmm. I wonder why he didn't play like Patron, Spearlint, and uh, Baller Rage. He would have full hand. Well, now yeah. he can now. I guess oh, he's really scared of the Brawl, though. He yeah. like, respects the Brawl. But still, even if you Brawl, you expect. I guess he doesn't want to expend too much of his resources here. And he is still getting this damage in with Thorson, which is pretty important. Like, keeping the armor low. And uh, his opponent demonstrated he can't deal with it yet, so still Actually, problematic. he doesn't have any cards to dis have a good discount. Only patrons and Vidalins, mm. but no, like, another Frozen Warzone Commander. I guess here you might have to probably Harrison, but do you play the Acolyte as well to get a draw from the Acolyte? But that only leaves you one mana spare. Uh, you guess you get the Execute off that one mana. Yeah, or a Shield Slam would do. Shield Slam would also be okay. That's two draws. Mm. Pretty reasonable. And you also kill the you also kill the loot hoarder, so it reduces a little bit of damage on board. Yeah. And you haven't drawn the execute yet, but you've used one's shield slam, so you need to have like three cards that can deal with it. Yeah, there's 18 cards remaining. And um. oh, ah, we got it. runner, runner. Actually, if uh, Pro Profix will draw Warson and Frozen, this game is over. That's way too much damage with the whirlwinds and inner yeah. rages and the uh, the oh, grim patrons. So much mana has been reduced as well. Hey, well, you know, I told this uh, actually on stream. Grim Patron used to be three mana back when Blizzard was first testing it, and now oh, it's really? finally back. <laughs> Will he use Gromash as a removal or just 12 damage to the face? Be oh, just removal. Yeah, just removal. He wants the time to draw that Warson Commander. Yeah, he and I think he wants to OTK him because he's really scared of the Brawl. Well, second big game hunter blackout says pretty sure it was five in a row in d2 shaman versus chalky zoo me and chalky went back and checked it <laughs> i bet they did because let me tell you if there's anything i've learned with blackout and chalky they're very <laughs> thorough in their investigations <laughs> um but you know uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's somewhere between five oh, and seven. Oh, he uses Whirlwind. It's oh, weird. Oh, wow, yeah. He's not saving it for the frothing combo. Yeah. I, yeah. I guess he's got one more. But uh, it might be not enough. Yeah. Like th there's 34 health on Chucky. He still has two Whirlwinds through the Death Spite and the Whirlwind card itself. It's not enough. Yeah, and he, there's a shield block in hand as well. I so think Chucky, at armor. this point, he should just armor up and clear. Yeah, uh, armor up every turn, try clear as much as possible, and hope he doesn't have enough damage. And try to like, play a fatigue game, I guess. I guess this turn he can play just the Gromash. Yeah, he can Gromash and armor as well, which mm -hmm. is pretty good. Force Profix to have an execute, or like try to expend some of his like resources in killing the Grom. Alex does almost the same thing, but it kind of tests to see if his opponent has uh, like an answer to a big minion. If he's another execute or a I've big game hunter. Uh, some Grim Pages even run BGH nowadays. Yeah, that was uh, popularized by Zule, I think. Zule was yeah, really trying was. to push it forward oh. when he was hitting Double Legend. Wow. Oh, I think it's time for go for it. YOLO. But they don't get charged, so he's really hoping that he can... Why he didn't enrage? Oh, he might be saving for the second wave if he like will get a Brawl. But if, Ch if Chucky gets an Activator, then the Profix is dead. For an Activator for the Grom. Yeah. Oh, oh, he gets Execute! That's a really great draw. But still has yeah. pretty bad chances to win this game. Well, I don't know. He's also got Dr. Boom for some damage. Chucky actually can't clear the board, though. It's a problem. He can kill one minion from his Grom, but that's it. Well, he can also oh, big miss game one hunter. patron yeah, can and damage Grom and big game hunter, I guess. All right, so you said that there was no chance for Profix to win this game, right? Execute's a good draw here as well. You can kill off... The not the five two and probably BGH the, the I think you three. you might not Gromash, you just shield block yeah. BGH and execute. Sludge Boucher. Which is now losing his removal so he can't deal with Dr. Boom as easily. I've got a beast in my yeah. 
But I think this is the only way, good way to clear the board. Yeah. And it's so scary, like, you have only two patrons and last virulent effect. And what do you do here? Like, you, you waste it and go, you go full all in. Yeah, if your board is cleared, then you've pretty much lost. But he's doesn't he doesn't have his board cleared. He can play the weapon with Dr. Boom and just start pushing and seeing how far he can ride this wave. Yeah, his opponent weapon play was really good draw. Yeah, two of these... Uh, two of the big game hunters have been used. He's used uh, t his executes. He's one shield slam. Yeah, like the only draw that helps is brawl, and yeah, and then still like if uh, not Boombot survives, this situation is pretty bad. Oh, Yasara. Yeah, Sarah's awakens could change things if he gets it. It's like two ways: mm. Isera or Sludge Bell should just to stall for and pray for the brawl. To but is it enough? I mean, he's gonna need, this is the time to drop it now, because next turn you might not get the opportunity to. And he gets his Eric Awakens! Ooh. Warson Commander? Two Warson Commanders left, right? Oh, no. 7, 10, 15, 18. But so if he can hit, hit twice with this. Does the, the Grandmaster Seras does 15 damage. Oh, so you're right. If Profix actually chooses to tank the damage, uh, Tank the Ysera, then Prof he actually dies. Profix, if he will go f full face and next turn draw Warson Kamado, he has lethal exactly 35 damage. No. Yeah, but no, the problem he, is he's, he's also going to die on the backswing because of uh, how much damage with Gromash and Ysera awakens, as long as the bo Boombots don't kill Gromash. Is this enough? Yeah, like if, if the Boombots. Uh, the if the Boombots, boombots kill Gromash. Then Actually, this inner rage was bad. Now, like, if a board will be cleared, uh, he has no way to kill. If so he would just go face and pass the turn... I think right. Chucky will go for the lethal. Yeah, right? you, you still go for option, it. Because yeah. the worst case scenario, if it kills Gromash, you just kill Dr. Boom. Yeah. We'll with Blissera. Yeah. So, this is... Um, it's one in nine situation. One in nine? Because it has to hit it twice, right? But yeah. Gromash goes down to Actually, four health. No, it, if it hits... One, one Boombot hits it for four, it's dead. Actually, it's like 1 in 11, probably. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's green. Oh, it's green. It's green. GG. Oh, GG. His 4 on the wall. Oh, I one. like it. There's the reverse sorry. But guess what, guys? He's not really sorry. Profix was definitely not expecting that. No. But you know, well, it was one of those things where, like, do you really expect him to get your Sarah Awakens? There's yeah. also uh, the, the Emerald Drake and the Athing Sister. You know, Dream and the Nightmare. Like, those are a lot of yeah. other cards you could have gotten. And Chalky got the best one. So I guess, you know, lucky when it counts. And that's the important part here. As Chalky does get a m very important win. Because if he dropped down 0-2, it would have been really tough. Maybe it was a punishment for this Rage play. Oh, is it? <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's something like that I feel like Kalento would say, too. <laughs> <laughs> he always talk about getting punished for making a bad play. It's Kinda good like to motivate <laughs> you for not doing mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's why, uh, you, you know... Ukrainian players are the best. Well, here we go. Game number three, Hunter versus Zoo. We're going to try the Hunter one more time for Chalky side. This is the first time we'll see it on Profix end. Well, that's a really good hand by Profix. I wouldn't uh, be surprised if he kept all of the cards. Yeah, he just four keeps. Because the Nerubian Egg plus the power over one wing is really good. You can clear a minion and spawn a 4-4. Four -four. And the Voidwalk and Haunted Creeper are really good early game cards. But... If Chucky will get a scientist and freezing trap out of it, an Urban egg is so bad. Because mm. you have to, you spend up the spell, and then you might not even get to do the damage. Yeah, it's true. The Nerubian ends up becoming really expensive. Oh, uh, I think five mana. So, Chucky definitely still wants to curve out, though. He does, he's going first, so he doesn't have um, as many cards to get the one drop, and his opponent will curve out. I think Chucky's trying to wait for the mulligan, but I don't think he's realized the Profix actually kept all his cards, so he's just waiting it out. <laughs> it's so awkward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just uh, log in, uh, join the game after uh, your opponent already mulliganed, and you're waiting, and like, oh, <laughs> it's right. so bad. And yeah. it's like, well, you didn't realize awkward. that he made you, like, a choice. The timer goes down, and then you, <laughs> then you realize he's already mulliganed. <laughs> It's a good hand for Chucky as well, though. He has the Knife Juggler on Leash the Hounds, and he also has a lot of early game. Yeah, Woodwalker is huge. This is, like, good hands for both players. 
honestly, because the way he curves out for um, Profix is that he will be able to get some pretty good trades with Haunted Creeper and Imp Gang Boss is so good at controlling the board. But then, you know, it builds more 1-1 one -one Imps for Unleash the Hounds and back and forth. Well, that's a high main. Not what you want to see on turn two. Juggler? No. Yes. Uh, You're willing to part ways with the Lepernome and get bullied like that? But you have Unleash, so you don't care too much. What if... You can save it for combo turn 5 combo, yeah. but it's not that great. But then what if he kills off your knife juggler with um, Abusive Sergeant? Lepernum leaves? Okay, yeah, fair enough. So, hmm. esports time? Uh, going for the, the juggles, huh? Oh, he has two juggles to hit this, I think. I think he's probably going to go for the Haunted Creep Abusive Sergeant. Try yeah. to hit the 1 in 3 and the 1 in 3 again. That didn't hit. Oh. oh! Well, he was attack. He was doing the attack as if it already went through. Yeah. Oh man, it's really starting to get hot in here, man. I can't really handle this intensity. These guys going back and forth. That was really apologizing. That was a really vital juggle because now the knife juggler dies, and he doesn't get the knife juggler unleash the hounds while you. Yeah. Yeah, I think knife juggler at Coin Nerugan is the best play here. Oh man, Ooh. if it hits a 2 1, still has another chance. He needs that knife dog to stay alive. And uh, there whoa. it is. That was a good hit. If he would have hit the spider, it would be so bad. Yeah. It's a quick shot, so. Quick shot is pretty good here. Yeah, he can kill off the 3 2. I guess he probably trades into one of the 1 1s and just hero powers. Yeah. And Warlock health is going down slowly, yeah. but surely. I mean, uh, He's considering uh, Unleash as well, but maybe it's not Unleash time. Next turn he can even uh, deal more damage to the face with second uh, another hero power. Yeah. If Chucky could stall enough to play the high main, that's really a big turning point in the game because... Warlock not to stall, to keep board clear. Yeah. Let's like that. Yeah. Yeah, and I like keeping Unleash the Hounds for after Implosion as opposed to before. Just because it helps keep it in check. So he can kill off the two spiders? Oh, he doesn't choose to. Oh, yeah. Choose Unleash. Face. Uh, great. Uh, Unleash is. Yeah, Unleash kills off all the minions. Oh, oh. that is. Really yeah, that's great card. really good to now nullify. Now you can play the whole board and also have a bit of board yourself. And the next turn is the high main turn. Okay, well, now uh, it's back onto the zoo player here. But he's, uh, he's got Implosion to try to fight back for the board. Yeah, I think it's Implosion turn. How yep. much does it hit for? Four! Oh, four. That's, that's pretty big too yeah. now. Because uh, he has a lot of room to power overwhelming the high main and take care of uh, can kill some other minions. Yeah, he can kill, bo he can kill both the... Both hyenas, yeah, right? Because he has the abusive sergeant. And he's not that low on life either. Well, that's one of the cleanest ways I've seen dealt with a high main in a long time. I would say it's a lot of damage. He might be able to race. You're right. Uh, let's see. But it's I think five, this nine, station just the clear the high main. Yeah, definitely. Oh, no. He wants Ooh, to race. He wants to race. Yeah, he's inviting him in. He's got so much damage. He's got 11 damage from hand next turn on top of the, yeah. s the but That might seven. be a mistake since there's a kill command in Chucky's hand. There's still a beast up. That's 11 damage this turn. Plus hero power, 13 damage. He'll be on 8 HP. And the Lepernome, so he's right. technically on 6. So another kill command will be lethal. Yeah. And he probably can't tap again, so he has to work with what he draws and what cards he has in hand. As well as he has to kill off the high main and all the minions. Yeah, there is no way you can just go for the board oh, control. Oh, man. Well... Profix was playing and playing his entire hand this turn, but if he uses defensively, I mean, then Hunter's going to win the he war. He needs Argus so badly. Like, if he will get a taunt. Oh, oh no, no. That's, that is the worst. I mean, draw. if you were to dump cards, I guess that's the one you wouldn't worry about dumping with Doomguard. Mm. Yeah, and right now he should trade with uh, Lion King Mufasa. Yeah, because uh, if it just hits the face, it touches him. If the high main breathes onto that Warlock portrait, he's going to die. So he's, he has to take care of this right now. So Chucky needs four damage next turn. So I think I don't know if Chucky runs Arcane Golem, but that would be an out. I mean, even if it does, though, can Zoo kill him in in two turns on the opposite yeah, end? Because he he will be at six. 
Yeah, and then you hero pass down to four, and then yeah, and our king in two goal. turns. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm saying in two yeah, turns the hunter yeah. will kill if him. If the so zoo then can kill the hunter next turn, but I don't think that's possible unless he probably draws mm, right. Doom Guard. Malganis, no, it's Malganis. eight mana. Well, oh, he'll actually have the the turn to play it because he'll have eight mana next turn. Hunter will hero yeah. power one eight, and then he'll get Malganis right on time. Now that's assuming hunter draws completely dead, like a hunter's mark, right? Hunter's mark would actually be nothing, but if he even draws like a weapon or something, it, it still helps him put him down to one more turn. Now he can't play anything, so Malganis will be not an option. But oh, it's little right. on board, right? Seven, nine, six, 14 only. 14 only. And he can't play any more minions, so his only out is Power Overwhelming. Yep. The second one. So if Chucky just hero powers here, and pass. does a damage. So yeah, and then you can keep Knife Juggler for like an Unleash the Hounds for maybe some maximum crazy fireworks finish. Even though you don't need it, you just need to unleash the hounds, but that'd be a, a one oh, way to end the game. Maybe for Stone Arch Task Boar. Hmm. Stone Task Boar? <laughs> yeah, and oh juggle gosh. one in eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's pretty much down to it. Who's going to win? Come down to two HP on both sides here. Yeah, you can't afford to tap here. If you tap, then you have to go <laughs> tap for the power is conceding. Yeah. And now the moment of truth. It's oh! unleash the hounds! <laughs> You, know, you gotta play juggler and the Legion yeah. Hounds. Fireworks yeah. finish. Happy New Year. <laughs> oh, Chucky's going for it. Yeah, we're we're 2013 Chucky. Just for one minute here. Oh. <laughs> Chucky, I I can see Chucky's really pumped about this game. Like, oh, he he's is really excited to he win. Is. He knows he needs one more game to qualify. I think he should uh, open his friends list and type in he's sorry to Profix right now to <laughs> to kind of finish out the complete apology. <laughs> Oh man! Well, that wraps up the game here, and uh, the series goes to Chucky's advantage, two to one. And I mean, if you're Profix, you have to be pretty upset with how yeah. that ended too, because you were really close to getting a big advantage there. But it was bad matchup for Profix. Mm. So, Chucky has only Warlock left, and uh, that's a Maligos Warlock. Zoo is pretty good match. Has pretty good matchup against uh, Maligos Warlock. I would say it's like one of the best matchups. Yeah. And then, and then Patron. And then Patron. I don't what know Patron? that much. Patron is oh, our last yeah. remaining deck that. But uh, Patron is pretty awkward against Maligos. Yeah. Like the the best way to beat Maligos uh, with a Patron, you need to play aggressively whole time. To play Frosting on three on um, turn three, unless you are playing a full combo deck, of course. But I think it's a better matchup for Patron than it is against Handlock. Like, I think Handlock just completely destroys Patron. Well, he might have a chance against the Maligos Warlock. Yeah, Maligos Warlock is slightly worse, but it's still fine. And he wants to have a worse matchup first. Mm -hmm. Chaggy has a really good early game hand here. He, he's drawn like, none of his like big creatures, so he can just go for early game board control. I think you should keep the Ingang cards. Boss, like 100%. Yeah, it's a really, like, he's got the coin as well, so you can go turn one Zombie Child, turn two Imgang Boss. No, you just tap turn two, turn three Imgang Boss oh, into so Twilight you, Drake. You want to keep the coin, oh yeah, I see. Yeah. Like, the problem is Imgang Boss in the late game, you, you don't want to play it because of patrons. You, you should play it before it. Yeah. Oh, it's terrible against Grim Patient. It spawns yeah, three of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you keep attacking into it and you keep getting one ones to Actually, trade four, into. I forgot. Yeah. The no, you don't care about kill. spawning more patterns because uh, you have AoEs, yeah, but yeah. you care if. Uh, if it kills you. <laughs> no, if, like, uh, patterns gives the damage uh, for. Frothing Berserker. Yeah. yeah. That's true. That's a good point. Well, Chucky ends up tossing back the M Gang boss, anyways, but he draws the Mally Ghost. And One actually, now his hand is pretty awful. Right. It's oh, Chucky really just awkward. instant squelched. Yeah, he, he doesn't that. even want to see any more apologies. Yeah. This isn't DreamHack Canada. Well, now that hand from the Warrior only has Accolade as his card draw and needs to pick up other things. He's playing two Gnome Machine Vendors, right? He might play even in, in the Rage on the Accolade. Just, just to draw. Get more draw. Yeah. Even, maybe even two. <laughs> no, sick. Mm, two might be a bit too much because of Mortal Coil. Yeah, one is enough. Ooh, is he just trying to smoke? I yes. guess he's got the Despite to play next turn. Yeah, that's what kills uh, Imgang Boss. Well, that's the Imgang Boss talking about and that. And he will play it. Yeah, I think he will. Well, and he Profix might will get two cards out of uh, Acolyte, even yeah. more. I, I don't see him Dark Bombing here because Imgang Boss is so good. But I guess he's looking at... 
uh, Profix's mana, and he knows it's coming up to turn four. So he's thinking yeah. about why would Profix attack with that axe there? He must have another weapon. Right. Well, I mean, it sets up for the death bite perfectly in almost every scenario. And if it is a death bite, it's awful. But yeah. it's also too hard to pass up this turn. Ooh, we've we've actually leveled up from apologies to thanks and gratitude. Yeah. I actually, in this situation, uh, Blackwing Technician would be better than Ingram Boss. Yeah, because it's a free five, so it couldn't die. Yeah, against Warrior, it's way better. Chuck is thinking here. Mm. I think it's just going Azure. Yeah, because then he'll have to either yeah. attack in with uh, his death fight, or probably just attack with his death fight would be a good draw. Well, he has the Emperor, though, so he has a lot of uh, parts of the combo in his hand. If he can only last until he can burst the patron down. I'm not sure why he did that. Yeah, he could have gone the opposite direction where the Acolyte um, yeah, hit this yeah. drink. Yeah, he could have taken four less damage. And deal one more. And deal one more. And uh, by doing so, he would have saved health. It's not even to the point where like he's at 30 HP. If he's at 30 HP, then you can argue he wants to get Battle Rage. But not in that scenario. Oh, that's awkward moment. You, yeah. Like, the only play is a heal bot. And you know Chucky's gonna spam emote you for every mistake that he sees, and that might put Profix on tilt as well. Uh, I only see one player here, he's probably antique heal bot since he's got two, and it heals him back up to 30 straight. Yeah, it's fine. Next turn is Emperor, so you will not worry about two, turn two turns lethal. Yeah. But there's also an Emperor on Profix's side, which I think would probably come out this turn. It's perfect, since you've got the Warsong Commander and the Frothing Berserker. And also the whirlwinds, and also in the rave. So, uh, but then Chucky has uh, abusive BGH play mm. with with tap. Mm. But I can't really see a, a better play than Emperor here. You get so much value. Of it's course, hard to miss out. Here's really good. Villain, yeah. the Warson Commander, Frosting Berserker. Yeah, that's the, that's the winning combo there because this deck in general, you can try to see if you can kill it before Maligos ever becomes a real threat. Yeah, now if you'll draw just single Patron or... Yeah, Patron, it, it will be way over 30 damage. Of course, if um, uh, Maligos lock will have board. So... Yeah, because of BJ, yeah. probably tap even, not playing uh, Yeah, I don't dark think bomb. you want to use your Dark Bomb, since you've got your Maligos and you've got your Emperor in hand. Yeah, of course you don't do it. Ooh. He's got so much damage in his hand if he can get all of it reduced. And he can do it on turn 7 and then turn 8 he has Malagos with two soul fires. Yeah, but he also has to survive. Like, I mean, it is going to end up turning into combos versus combos. Yeah, whoever gets the most damage yeah. as quickly second, as possible. Second execute's pretty poor draw. He already has one execute that's, that's free and he's not really going to use it on a lot of these other minions. Um, so that's kind of a dead draw here for Profix. Yeah, uh, I think I can only see the, the Death Spite attack in and probably trade your 2 4 into the 4 2. And try to clear as much as possible. Actually, Maybe even go face. Like yeah, you go face. For sure. Like, um, you will be. You will have. Uh, you have so much damage, yeah. Like, you have two whirlwind effects plus the war song and the frothing. Like, For ex if you play the Emperor, he's dead. I would say by like that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's also a big telegraph, too, that you're going to kill your opponent. Because you just attacked the first charge of Death Bite into the face. Yeah, so I think Chucky might just play the heal bot here and just try to tra yeah. trade in and then go face and try not to die. You trade BGH and heal bot, that's it. And you actually might kill him even without uh, Emperor and Maligus combo, just by Hellfire, Dark Bomb, Soulfire, Soulfire. Yeah, that is a lot of damage there. So how how far? Actually, three, he might six, even use uh, fourteen in hand. You might use hell, uh, dark bomb here, and abusive with to trade and play heal bot. So you'll have like a lot, a lot of damage on the board, and it's hard yeah. to deal without uh, additional yeah. virulent effects. I like it. Um, the all of those minions that remain on the board for your side is three attack or higher, so Grim Patrons can easily trade and get like insane frothing berserkers uh, damage as well. Another play uh, would be like trade uh, abusive, just to not have this minion on the board. It still does nothing, and uh, Maligos uh, 
Dark Bomb, Soulfire, Soulfire still kills him, like guaranteed. Oh, he makes the right play. And I mean, it, it's pretty easy to read though when you see the Death Spite attack the face that aggressively. So How much damage is this though? This does a lot of damage. So, two whirlwind effects. I think. It might Woody's be dead. Like, I, it no, it's not lethal for sure. With with six minions on board, each whirlwind's you plus can play six. Oh no, no. Uh, the f the so it's six on the first time. Right. The second time it's five. So that's eleven plus. And then the death spite is plus four, so that's fifteen plus a two from the probably yeah. seventeen. No, it's it's definitely 17, not. Nineteen plus three, twenty-two. Is that what you said? Yes. <laughs> You're quick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you have to forgive us Americans. Yeah. Uh, we count with calculators and stuff. Americans. Yeah, it's over for, for Patron Warrior. I had to bust out my TI calculator for that one. So yeah, because I counted a uh, turn before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like a real pro. <laughs> you should have just kept quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Trump. Well, uh, let's see how much he's going to be able to stabilize on this board I think here. he will go for... Clear, like double execute, and next turn he will have a little probably with uh, patrons. Well, so he thinks. If he yeah, that's the best uh, way to to win the game. Uh, I think you are more up this turn, maybe. No, oh, no, no, you don't time. do it. Yeah, so you, he, you need that for the patrons. He has exactly fourteen for his patrons and uh, three for his uh, firewall axe. So it's like if he top decks patrons, he wins. But now I guess you just Hellfire and Twilight Drake, right? Yeah, like there's no no way you can tap because it gets you too low. It's how so funny. It comes down to the patron draw mm -hmm. if he will get it or not. Uh, I don't know how many cards are left in deck. But he has the ability also to get um, what's it called? A battle rage too. A battle rage could draw into a patron as well. So he is. It's not just patron or bust. No, it it just patron. You you can't. Uh, oh, you, yeah, yeah. Um, you can draw one card. Yeah. Battle so rage. like, it's, he has a couple of cards that can help him. He didn't use any battle rages before. No, I don't think so. So it's like. I mean, I'm just saying, like, it's not just the patron. Like, he could pick up another card that can keep him, give him another hope. But that's about it. It might as well be patient though. And meanwhile, this Twilight Drake puts four pressure on the board, and he's got eleven in the hand. So that's it's fifteen. Got exactly full if Actually. It armor up. It's a boom. Hmm. Oh, that's that's charged with boombots, by the way. Oh, wh why charge? He oh, just he gave lead. Yeah, like he's he cannot survive now unless he somehow kills off the Drake. He. But I don't think he's gonna do that. I think he's just going. All yeah, that was clearly a misplay. All, all in right now. Like there is no way uh, your opponent can uh, can do more than thirteen certain damage or more without Emperor. Yeah. But actually, Chucky may not win. He might discard. He might the discard soul the soul fire. fire. But that's such a low possibility, but it actually happens a lot of the time. No, it will not happen. <laughs> uh, well, if oh. he kills a Drake, if he kills a Drake with the Boombots too. Yeah. No! Weird. What? Ooh. Wow. Was he really hoping? F Wait, even if the Boombots did for maximum damage, he would have done only one he off. put him at one off. Yeah. So you're okay. attacking and then going. So Ch here it comes. Chucky's going for it. Wait, no, he no, still, no, he still one off, that's one off with needs that. to go for it. Yeah. Here we go. Soul Fire first. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And Chucky realizes today is his day. He He's is. going to the top eight. And he takes down Profix to advance to day three. And, uh, you know, stand up, shake hands. Even though there is yeah. some, you know, emos exchanged back and forth, in the end, it's all in the name of fun yeah, and games. It's all in game. Right. No harm done out of game. A big performance as well because the difference between not making it to the top eight and going to the top eight is not just for you know the exposure and being able to play for the um, the championship, but you get two thousand dollars at least guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty good payday considering that Chalky flew all the way from America, and uh, you know he's able to live up to some of the expectations of him because he's starting to grow into more of a high-profile player since you know he's casting and people really love some of that, and uh, he's been doing really well recently and getting second in a lot of events. Yeah. Maybe this is finally the time where he gets first. Maybe this is the time. What we do you think about Chucky's play uh, or Profix play in this overall series, Nairia? I think the Chucky made, made uh, less mistakes mm -hmm. overall. I, I didn't see actually any mistakes. Ooh, a high compliment. No mistakes, oh, Chucky. Yeah, I of course thought right. Chucky played really well. You can get well. used to that nickname, huh? 
Yeah, super happy I'm in top eight. Yeah, well done. Well, I know um, you know you you take performances and results pretty heavily on yourself. You put a lot of uh, pressure, you know, self-inflicted to say the most <laughs> sure, to, to, sure. to perform well. Um, so does this tournament specifically have any more meaning outside of just another big tournament to pr do well in? Uh, well, I haven't been doing too well in like my prior events, and so I kind of came into this tournament with pretty low expectations. I was like, you know, if I lose, it's whatever. If I win, it's whatever. Right. And then like, I went 3-0 first day. I got pretty hyped up. I lost my fourth match. I got pretty emotional over that. Uh, I had some RNG involved, of course. <laughs> and when I was you know, 4-1 and then 5-1, it's like the dream becomes more real. And I was just like, I really want to make it. For so sure. this means a lot. That's good. That's good. Um, you know, do you feel like you didn't prepare well because you were casting last weekend and you're like, well, do I even have time to practice <laughs> yes. for DreamHack? So yeah. I came back to the hotel after casting. Mm -hmm. I, you know, went out with some friends and I came back and I learned that there was four hours to submit DreamHack decklist. Yeah. So I asked my friend, uh, William Binloss, <laughs> modern leper. He wanted that specific shout out. Gotcha. Uh, and he gave me a strategy basically centered around countering Hamlock. I ended up going with two of his exact deck lists. Uh, he unfortunately went 4-2, and two, still has to play his last match, but uh, I replaced his Druid with Warrior, and I submitted him and went to sleep. Uh, no more thoughts than that, and then we, <laughs> we actually got the chance to resubmit, and I was right, like, right. Nah. nah. First intuition, <laughs> sometimes you change it too much at the last second, yeah. it's like uh, compromising your strategy. There was some playful banter back and forth with emotes, but it felt like there was. it was more like a vengeful BM. Because, it was vengeful Because he kept Frodan. apologizing for the top deck and then Frodan, you were like vindicated. He beat Raynad with the most absurd luck and emoted him. So oh. this one's for Raynad, actually. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> this emoting is to avenge Jackie, him. I'm so proud of you. You've grown up so <laughs> much, man. You're like casting with maturity and now you're BMing on behalf of your father. But you squelched yeah. him, right? What? You squelched him. I yeah. squelched him, yeah. It's the, the right hard build. counter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he can see your emotes still too. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, it's, it's tilting hard. Yeah, Blizzard definitely has to patch that for sure. Well, Jockey, sure. uh, you're through to the round of eight, man. Congratulations! I, I took the entire interview portion. Did you guys have any questions? I mean, Green, she really wanted to cast your series, so I'm, I'm sure he's really I'm, proud I'm of you. surprised to see him up here again. <laughs> Somehow, no one can say no to his face. He yeah, just walks or his accent. Like, Let me it's, cast. It's brilliant. Let me cast. You know, place. <laughs> when you have low expectations on tournaments, yeah. you always do well. It's I like know so it's weird. crazy. Well, I guess you just realize that it's not so intense and pressure, you know, and you just kind of go in and you relax. But then when it's the final play-in yeah. match, you're like, okay, now I want to win. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess uh, you. You win where it counts. Congratulations, Shocky. You're through the round. Any last words or shout-outs you want to do before we toss you away? Uh, just shout-outs to my team, Team Dignitas, all of our sponsors, and shout-outs to our Skype group for practicing. I guess they'd like me to say the name. We are the Cute Gamer Boys. Oh, so. I was expecting the Salt Boys for some reason, but, yeah. <laughs> cute uh, Gamer Boys. You're part of a lot of boys clubs. We do. Yeah. That's how we do it in Hearthstone. We or, still or have two more members that can make it to the top eight, Oscock and Dog, so cheering them on. Oh, excellent. Well, uh, actually, Dog did make it to the top eight. Oh, he sick. Well, that's he, two we, Q Game of Boys. We got, uh, <laughs> we got an update that he beat uh, uh, Ro <coughs> Retord for being able to get to the top eight. So uh, yeah, good Oscar job to them. And uh, <laughs> Sorry, what? Did I, I Oscar, Oscar and Dog beat me. Yeah. Oh, oh in well, the yeah. Rounds. Exactly. So We're Nairia. too strong. Yeah. <laughs> Sadly. Well, uh, I think that wraps up uh, our first match. We still got plenty more in the, the round seven here. In fact, I think we're going to pull up some of the results of the scores. So let's take a look at uh, some of the updates. Hawkeye did beat Tiddler, but both do make it to top eight. And there's not too much of a significant advantage for first in Swiss. You do play the eighth seed, but, you know, so, so be it. AK Wonder did take out Caldi to advance to the top eight. So he is another person who got his birth. And Oskaka falls to Nico the Great, who's also been oh. on the up and coming. Oh. So it looks like the cute gamer boys can't go three for three. Frozen Ice. Uh, oh, I think that's actually where it ends. Dog and uh, Retord was the last uh, top eight match there. But taking a look at the, everything else there, Frozen Ice did end up finishing five and two. Uh, D2 also managed to finish 5-2 and two as well as you know, Ecop getting the win over Forsen as well. Uh, taking a look at some of the great list of players here who finished 5-2. and two. Tice from Team Nihilum, Gar from Tempo Storm. Um, really competitive the tournament. Man, you should be really proud of yourself, Chucky. You, you made it out yeah. past the list of killers. Jeez. Actually, I actually didn't face that many like, professional players. Mm -hmm. I faced a lot of, kind of unknowns, I guess you could right. call them. Uh, I think Kaldi was the most like known player I faced, and I lost to him. So, 
I don't know if it was the hardest tournament road ever. I even got gotcha. a default win in round one. Yeah, you'll take it. But hey, Why I'll not? take it. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2000 bucks in your bank account. <laughs> oh, man, is it? Well, I mean, yeah. maybe even more. Depends on how it is. And this is kind of how it's shaping up to be. We have one player undefeated after Swiss. It's Hawkeye, who got second in Europe versus China. And... You know, one of the best Greek players around. Taylor Celestial, uh, Nico, Chalky, AK Wonder, and Dog. We still have to desert, decide between a couple more players, though, who are 5-1. and one. Uh, For example, Amaz and Purple, as well as you need versus... Uh, I, I forgot his name exactly. It's like Eat My Lawn or Eat My Farm or something. Uh... Something farm. Yeah. Something Let farm. me farm. Let me farm. farm. Let me yeah. farm. I'll eat my farm. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty hungry, guys. I've been casting for a while. And that's going to be coming up on stream. I believe you need versus uh, Let Me Farm will be coming up. And then we're going to wrap the day with Amaz versus Purple from Team Archon. It'll be an interesting match for sure. And uh, that'll do it. We're going to take a break. When we come back, more Hearthstone action here in the round seven of the Swiss portion. Stay tuned.